I'm Anil Kumar. I have taken a few interesting questions on maximum and minimum. Let us see how to solve them. This one is on numbers. The question here is, one number is 6 more than another number. Find the numbers so that their product is a minimum, right? So that's the question for you. So let's begin by defining the numbers. We say let a number be x. Okay, so one number is six more than another. So this is one of our numbers. One number is six more than another. So we say other number will be Now, you would say y, right? And then solve for x and y. But here, in such cases, we can work with single variables. One number is 6 more than another. So 6 more than what we have. So the other will be x plus 6. Does it make sense? So sometimes it is good to work with just one, one number. So one number is x, the other one is 6 more. Now the question is, find the numbers so that their product is a minimum. So we are looking for a product. So let's say P is the product which we want to minimize. Product means you have to multiply them. That means X times X plus 6. That is what the product is. So the question is to <clears throat> minimize the product. Clear. How could you do it? <clears throat> well, there are a couple of ways to do it. One, we have it in factored form. We can continue from here, get the answer. The other one is we could do completing the squares. So uh, some of my students have uh, done only one method. So what I will do here is we'll do with both. Now, how to do with both? Let me show you with graph. Let me introduce another thing here. So what we will do here is we'll kind of sketch it. Okay. So what we are saying here is that we have x times x plus 6. When is this 0? This is 0 at x equals to 0. When is this factor 0? Well, this factor is 0 at minus 6. Oh, so I, I should have drawn it on the other side. Okay. That's fine. So we'll do kind of here. Or let me redo it. Okay. Doesn't matter. We'll redo it. So I didn't realize this was minus 6. So let's redo it. So we'll make another graph. Okay, let it be this time here. So let's say this is the product. And this is our number x. It is 0 for 0. And this one is 0 for, let's say, minus 6. Is it okay? So these are my two zeros. Parabola is opening upwards. So what I will do is I'll just draw a curve which goes through these points. And, and that becomes the parabola. We are looking for minimum. Where is the minimum? Minimum is right in the middle. Do you see that? So the minimum is right in the middle, which is, you can see, minus 3. How do we get it? So first is, we found the zeros, which is at x equals to 0 and x equals to minus 6. And then we found the axis, which is average of 2, which is at x equals to 0 plus 6 divided by 2. I mean, minus 6, okay. That means uh, minus 3. So we get the x value. Do you see that? So one number is x, the other one is what? Well, so we found that x equals to minus 3. So x plus 6 should be minus 3 plus 6, which is plus 3. So we get two numbers, correct? So our answer in this case is the two numbers are 3 and minus 3. Do you get an idea? So without any calculations, <clears throat> just by making a graph, you can get the solution, okay? Now let's do the most popular method. It is full of calculations. Let's expand this first. We get x squared plus 6x. Now we will add and subtract half of this, which is 3 squared and subtract 3 squared. Now these three terms form a perfect square. These three terms form a perfect square. They could be written as x plus 3 whole square, right? These three terms minus 3 square, which is 9. 
Now that gives you the vertex. So the vertex is at x equals to minus 3. The value is minus 9. Do you see that? So that is the vertex. So from here, you know, it opens up, correct? With minimum. at x equals to minus 3. So we get our number x equals to minus 3. Correct? So that's an alternate way of finding. So once we have x equals to minus 3, we can find the second number. So if x is minus 3, x plus 6 will be minus 3 plus 6. I mean, uh, which is 3, right? So we get our answer as plus and minus 3 are the two numbers. I hope that helps you. So it's kind of a review for you. How do you find maximum minimum using different methods and strategies? I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.